Good morning everyone. This is Tina from Leisure and Lace. I've come here to share with you a Christmas winter journal. I'm calling it um, Festive Christmas. And so I'm going to get started right now. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Thank you for coming by and taking a look. I think it turned out pretty good. There's a lot of, um, I guess, maybe not traditional colors. So like some pinks and, get that out of the way, sorry. Pinks and bright greens and just really festive. So here we go. The front, we have some lace. Oh, and this is eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then, so the lace is there. Just has a little tiny bit on the back. We did a little bit of a collaging on the front here with different um, um, cards and tags and little three-dimensional stickers right here and here. Tim Holtz um, message, little flashcards and different stampings and um, ribbons, etc. So we'll open it up. Now right here I am planning on adding some more like a thicker paper here because I feel like it needs some more stability. I don't, the paper itself isn't as stable as I wanted it to be so I will be adding something here. Um, stamping some coffee dyed and non coffee dyed papers. This is the Paper Studio um, pad that I used. I showed that in the previous video. Some um, tracing paper and then I have little tags that I made. This is a Tim Holtz. This one I did make out of some specialty paper which is pretty cool. And then I did um, this stamp with, it's actually chalk paint that I did that with. And here we have um, a gift tag so then you can just close it, little flower there. Tuck spot, as you saw, this is a bag. Open that up and we have cards inside. And then I have this little, sorry, I'm trying to run through this really fast. I don't want it to be too long for you guys. You've, you know, you know what's going on. So cute little Tim Holtz, little ephemera. And a tag that I made, some little um, Dollar Tree decoration there. This is, is this a Tim Holtz? I don't know. I can't remember, but I think you guys have seen it. It's like a ledger pad of paper. There's all different kinds of ledger-ish type of papers in it. So um, some more of that paper and lace. And in here I have some Martha Stewart tags. Um, these I can't remember where I got from, but I had them, so I went ahead and put them inside. These are some, or this is a card that I got from Tuesday morning, and it's been, a, it's like last year. And so I made this little belly band here, slip those right back in. And then over here, I have a little mini paper bag, I'm sure I got that, it's Paper Studio probably. And I got this from Hobby Lobby, Tim Holtz, I believe. And then this is just a gift tag that I've used. Some more Tim Holtz stuff here. A vintage um, flash card, vintage playing card. Love this, it's so cute. It's like a Jack and Jill are getting maple syrup. Um, one of these memo pad papers and then just did some stickers and just decorated it so there tuck spot here here and here turning the page these are from Hobby Lobby they're bags I love these bags so I'm probably gonna hoard some more <laughs> um, this is a little card from the paper pad itself um, Martha Stewart I don't remember where I got these but I've had them since last year this is from Target, probably the dollar spot. Sorry about that. Um, still not 
amazingly gifted at videotaping everything, sorry. Um, oh, I will talk to you about this in a minute. I'll show you. That's what, one of the reasons I'm trying to hurry. This is a card that I've had. It's probably from some paper pad or a, a paper that I purchased. A gift tag from Hobby Lobby, and I just made it into a tuck spot. Martha Stewart, Tim Holtz, right there. Pretty cute. Little stamping going on. More, um, these are vintage laces that I've collected. Um, a little ruffle that I created, and Tim Holtz, little tag, a little bell. Another one of those little papers. This is, yeah, some more of those, you know, papers from the pad that I made into a little flip up. Um, oh, so there's a tuck spot here. This is an envelope. And then on this side, um, I have some of that vintagey paper or not vintage paper, I'm sorry, specialty paper that I've put on there with a little lace, and then I've added some little Tim Holtz ephemera in here, some old vintage paper that I've stamped, some of these um, notepad papers that I had purchased last year from Michaels. This is um, ephemera from Tim Holtz, and it could be a tuck spot as well. So I've added that to this piece and then just some paper that I had. And this is the center, which I love. Instead of doing the corners, I went ahead and did it on the sides. I think it turned out pretty cute. It's got that pink color. Tim Holtz and Martha Stewart tags. Added some details there. So there you go. And this will sit out like that little bow. more stamping stamping tuck spot here i'll add a card to that so i just use the paper from the pad and um, more vintage lace stamping more of the paper gift tags tim holtz um, this i created a i did some collaging of um, tissue or napkins that I had and did a little stamping. So and actually, this is actually from the library. I thought it was pretty cute, a new coat for Anna. So that's in there. This is the bag, the other side of that bag that I love and then I folded it over, added some decorations like that. The other side and then you, of course you could tuck back in here some of graph paper. Um, so I made this little card with some tracing paper and stamping on the papers. This is some vintage um, journal or what do you call it? Why do I get on here and I can't remember what I'm talking about? I don't understand that. Um, I made this little book so you could take a look here. I just added some pieces from a little book that I had. Ledger paper, that's what it is. And then just added these little papers to it. So that slips right in there. This is from a scrapbooking store. It had, <clears throat> it had all different Santa Clauses on it. So I had that from last year. Again, some more of that paper. Washi. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite pages too. I grabbed some of these at Hobby Lobby the beginning of the season and this is what I came up with. I put a little Tim Holtz little tag here and a key. Then inside I made these little, um, well I put this little guy here. Why is he sticking? It's a little sticker candy cane. And then I had some just stamping of these little tags. That I made warm wishes Christmas season Martha Stewart with the, some little netting that I had and there's this little piece <clears throat> this might be what do they call those cards forget it um index card that I put a little piece on here 
other side of that bag and voila there you go i think it's a pretty cute little journal it's pretty full i tried not to fill it up as much as i usually do but there you go okay so the little christmas book <clears throat> right here i'm going to show you um over here i had this little um life's little treasure book christmas i had it had it for a long time and i pulled found it not too long ago and i'm like oh i'm gonna use these so i started taking these papers out see I'll get into detail but it just has some little i don't know christmasy type of stuff you can do like Buy a big red candle for your kitchen table, light it every night for dinner during the holidays. And I thought it would be really cute to make a little book out of it, along with vintage papers and just papers and they just throw it in there. So there was a little idea that I had. Quickly, I wanted to show you a, a haul that I had yesterday on my way home. I was so happy to get this. Sorry, that was a weird voice. Post a note. Um, I know I watched somebody else and they had picked up some pretty cool stuff and when I found this I was like oh, gasp this is awesome so there's like three different um there's only a couple of the yellow ones um three oh four different flowers and so on the other side you have post a note and these are actually from Colorado Springs I live in northern Colorado and then in the back it had this little ephemera piece and I'm assuming that you have this to either, I don't know, cut out or just use as a reference. So there's that, which I was totally excited about. And then I haven't gotten anything this good as far as like laces and stuff. Well, I'll show you that one last because it's my favorite, but I, I picked up some a bag just one bag and it had all this lace remnants and stuff in it so I was just so excited to get that not sure what to do about that but anyway I had all this little trims they don't have much on it I guess seven yards but I'm like okay sweet I'll use them so it was a pretty good little haul that I had there and then there's this vintage lace that I was like oh my gosh look at that it has gold and it. it's just little flowers and so there you go this is my book sorry it was just a really quick flip through um have any questions let me know and yeah there you go I I think it turned out pretty good. Thank you for coming by and taking a look. Um, much love to you guys. Um, take care and be safe during this season of holiday cheer. So take care. I'll be seeing you soon because I do have another journal that I'm creating for someone. Um, and hopefully I'll get that up pretty quick here. And you never know, I might make another Christmas journal. So thank you guys and take care.